work is not just about the release of uh, the children in the armed conflict. It's about all violations of the rights of children in armed conflict. That is the killing and mining, the recruitment and use, the abductions of children, sexual violence, denial of humanitarian access, and attacks on schools and, and, and hospitals. The release is really significant in that it's, an, in, it's a way of one, first of all, getting the children out of uh, the armed forces. Two, it also helps educate the people that children should not be in the in part of the armed forces. It also helps the families to get their children back, back to them and then provides opportunities for children to go back to school and live the, the normal life they, that they're supposed to have and that they have missed. So this, the importance of this group is that they provide us an opportunity to engage internationally, nationally and locally with the parties of the conflict and to all people who are concerned. continue on pushing despite setbacks, despite delays, uh, despite inconveniences, despite the ongoing conflict. Uh, our job, including the groups of friends and I think also the government agrees in the different groups is to make sure that these children are released. Now obviously there is issues in terms of logistics, difficult terrain and so forth, but these are challenges that I think uh, can be overcome if we continue on pushing. So there is challenges, I think everybody agrees, but uh, challenges do not normally stop people from going forward. So we'll continue on going forward uh, and we'll continue on working. I think the most important thing to, to talk about are issues of reintegration. That's the difficult part. Releasing children is not the, the hardest part. So this is what I'd really like to advocate about to communities, to the government, to these different armed groups that once children are demobilized, it's for them not to re-recruit them again once conflict surges. Of course, this issue will be bound up with uh, a host of other questions about uh, the resolution of the conflict, bringing a durable peace to South Sudan, an effort we all know will be challenging. Um, we think though that uh, consideration for the special needs of children needs to be at the forefront of those uh, efforts because they're particularly vulnerable and they shouldn't be caught up in these, in, in these uh, difficulties. But uh, naturally as, as we struggle to bring a durable peace to South Sudan, we'll hopefully be able to make more sustainable gains on uh, removing children from the battlefield and uh, preventing their, uh, their recruitment.